Look, your view of God is precious to him. He loves you for your uniqueness, for your ego, which he is, yes, he's expanding it to embrace the love of all that he loves, of course. He wants you to care for what he cares for. But he wants your uniqueness, your individuality, your love and friendship, the joy of your happiness, you being happy, you being full, as he is full. He's a wonderful person, and he wants that of you. He's a person of persons of persons, and he values persons. He's not out to destroy them or to clone them like himself. He wants company. He wants family. Families are incredibly varied in their membership. I mean, in, in our world, there's goodies and baddies in the, you know, and we still put up with them. They're still family. The prodigal knew in his heart, I'm still his son. I'll get a better deal there than anywhere else. <laughs> and of course, it's far better than that. God's view of goodness is so much more wonderful than ours. Ours might be some frightening, servile obedience of an appalling dictator. Oh, my God. Where's his view of you? Is that you're his child and you're going to be magnificent as he is magnificent. Our God is wonderful. That's why, you know, the ancient scripture pressed, you should praise God. Because the more you praise God and you attribute to him everything that you truly value and love, the more you will love him and be led accordingly and open to his leading and alive to all the goodness and miracles in your life. You, you you think miracles will only happen when you found God for real and he's become, you know, visited you even as Jesus or Krishna or whatever. But I tell you, he was there from the beginning. When you look back on your pre-godly Christian or religious or believing life, you see his hand on every detail. In fact, this whole universe is his love. Yeah, we sing a thing, reveal thyself, reveal thyself. We're not talking about having a vision of Jesus or Krishna or Buddha or anything else. What we really mean is, open my eyes, Lord your presence in everything, in my very self, even in my difficulties and problems. It's the love of you. I own it this way. Because of loyalty to you when I see the abundance of your goodness to me, everything I have is because of you. I choose to see it that way. I'd be mad not to. What do I gain by assuming anything else? Love you, Dad. Love you, 